Hey, what's up? In this section, we are going to look at how to select certain tasks for Brent. You see that I have here a column which are defined as flag one. And let's say I want to print the three first rows. For this, you see, I will use a project which is quite small, but this is really useful when you have a large quantity of tasks and you just want certain to be printed. But I will use that smaller project just to do the demo of this point. So if I want to print initiation, determine scope and determine stakeholder, as an example, I will use here a column, which is entitled flag one, and I set the columns I want to print here to yes. If I go as such like that, without any change to the impression, you see that I get all the rows. It means I have the selection, but I'm missing something. It's that I should filter on that selection. For this, here, inside, here, I have filters. They are custom filters. In my case, I call it filter print, and we'll see what happens. If I filter print, then I have just the three rows in which I'm interested. And now let's go into the printing part and we see that we will just print the three first row as expected. I'm Kristen from Vision 6D and this was a question that I received by a subscriber on YouTube. And the question is so interesting that I feel like making a video about this because I think it can be useful to many of us. So now, how did I create all this? And it's what we are going to look together. The first thing we are going to do is to add a column. With that column, we want to do the selection. So the column we are going to add are containing logical elements and they are called flags. So for this, I come with the shortcut F, like that I can select flag one. And you see that by default, all elements of this flag are going to be set to no. The alternative choice that we have is yes. So it's a yes, no flag. So I'm going here to select the three first row I want to see printed. And as you can see, if I go now again into the print part, I have everything which is displayed that I see. I have all my rows. Once again, I just did the selection. I haven't filtered. To create a filter, you need to go into the view part and here there is the group called data. Into data, here up in the middle, you see filter and you see that now we have no filters applied. So we are going to open this and we see here that there are already predefined uh, filters. You also see some filters that I've created for previous uh, tests. And I'm going to create with you a new filter that I'm going to name filter print 2. So you see here down that we can create a new filter. And here inside, I will name that filter filter print number 2. And here I can now select on what I'm going to filter. This is a really simple filter here, shortcut F. I select the column flag one. It means that what I have in column flag one, 
I will test it. So the condition is that it has to be equal and equal to what? Here is the value. And since it's a logical um, field, either yes or no. So I select yes. So I have a filter called print2 that will only apply to the column flag1 and will look for rows or tasks which equals yes. So I can say here save and here nothing applies because, well, I mean nothing has changed because we don't apply any filter at the moment. You just come here, you say that time that you want filter 2 to be applied and you see that it selected all the rows that are uh, stated with yes. If now, of course, I go into the printing part, you guess and we have it. That's the way to go. And it was really simple to use that filter. With that, you, you've seen that uh, it's easy to, to do. Uh, it's an introduction also to the filters usage. You liked it, you can sum up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share it with your fans. And of course, if you have questions and interesting questions, it can go and become a video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon on the channel. Bye-bye.